Hi, internet friends. It's day number 14 in this 20 days of Chief Architect X15. I'm Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions, and today's feature is Denoise Physically Based Ray Trace, or PBR. Let's get started in our favorite software. All right. I don't know how many of you use this physically based ray tracing. It, it does take a trick for setting up proper lighting and materials, emissivity, sunlight, etc. And I'm not going to get into that today, uh, partly because I need to figure that out myself. But um, I want to get into making this a um, about denoising and making this rendering a nice looking rendering. Uh, if you've ever noticed as you first do a PBR or move the model around, you get kind of this popcorn look um, and you can kind of see where it, it just looks really stippled and not clean. X14 did not have this option. Uh, called denoise. So up here where you typically find like your cross section slider, there's an option to denoise the view. And I'll, I'll select this and I'll show you another way to get it, but I'll select this to show you what happens. Notice how stippled and popcorn this, this corner looks. If I denoise the view, it thinks a bit and just makes things really smooth now looking much more like the rendering. Let's go back and create that stippled look and if you go to uh, 3D camera view options, and there's denoise the view. Right down here, you get this little progress bar and chief denoises the view. Now in your PBR option here for ray, physically based uh, ray tracing, you can go to technique options and cap the live samples. So instead of doing um, like almost infinity of live samples, uh, you can do denoise when complete. So you don't have to go through that process. Let's do some uh, daytime backdrop intensity. Let's drop that to 5000 and see what happens with the lighting. Maximum export samples. Let's drop that down maybe to 750. And as we as it runs through, it doesn't tell us how many. It's doing. It doesn't sh show the sampling. Oh, there it is. Samples: 135, 140. It's doing six per second. So let's uh, change this to let's do two two hundred. And there, once it got over 200, it automatically denoised. You saw the little progress bar appear right here, right? So let's move it again. It's sampling. We're up to 30, 40, 50. It'll take a minute. I suppose this all depends on your... Um, I assume this depends on your um, graphics card. So we're up to 150 now. I did see something that uh, somebody commented that there's a possibility that that you can set it up to use the old G, uh, not GPU, the um, CPU, but CPU based. Okay, so we got over over 200, and it automatically denoised. Um, so that's a really great addition to be able to make these uh, these ray traces work so much uh, look so much cleaner in that um, we can denoise them and make the make it not look quite so stippled. If you've learned something new, I would appreciate the encouragement of a uh, like and subscribe down there. Hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time I drop a new video. Uh, and I do enjoy the comments. If you have ideas or thoughts, tips or tricks, 
uh, that I can look into or even a better, faster way that you think it might go, uh, I'm, I would, I love the discussion. So otherwise, thanks for watching. Take care.